Terry, just that beautiful smile. Terry, right here to the right. There we go. And the front of that dress. Terry, right here to the right. Thank you. Oh, there we go. And together, guys, right here. Just turn to the right a little bit, guys. Right here together. And on your left, for us. Just both of you on your left. And then right next to him with that smile. And those eyes to the left. All the way back. And Katie, just a little smile. Every, oh, yeah. Katie, just look at him. And Katie, just see if you can. A little smile, a little smile. The show. And now the show has become the most be talked about thing in social media. How, how, you know, how are you feeling tonight before the big finale? We tonight are doing a live table read of tonight's episode. So all of the actors in the episode were sitting on a stage with our scripts and we're going to actually read the episode to the audience the way we do at table reads every week before we start a new episode. So it's such a great opportunity because we all enjoy working together so much. We're like an, a theater company, the way we, we sort of support each other and adore each other and respect each other. So people get to see that tonight. They get to see how we work together as a full company of actors in live time doing tonight's episode. It's time I meet with Ms. Pope. May I ask what for? I need to talk to her. You are not the best conversationalist. Maybe it's the company I keep. Just bring her in. The, the most jaw-dropping moment of the episode for me personally was the very, very last line of the episode. I mean, I was, when I saw it on the page, I, I didn't even know how to make it come out of my mouth because it was such brand new information for me. We'd ha we haven't had any knowledge of Olivia's personal life outside of the White House and, and Pope and Associates. So that's very exciting for me and I'm dying to get more information about this father of hers. As you sort of discovered, he's sort of the leader in B6313. He needs to talk to her. He needs to sort of, he's running, my, from my point of view, he's running the country. He's that power behind the power. He's the guy who you never hear about. He's the guy that Harrison refers to when he says, you know, she runs with the big dogs and the guys who really run the power. That, so that's who this guy is. Live. We'll fix this defiance thing and you'll run again and you'll win. And I want that. I want that for you. It's just... I let myself believe the waiting was over, and now the waiting? four more years is going to be difficult. I'll be fine. It's just it's going to be difficult. We're not waiting four more years to be together. We're going to be together now. I think unlike last year where there was really one question, who is Quinn, I think this year there are a lot of questions. What's happening to Jake? What's going on with Olivia and her family? Um, I mean, the, the what's going on with the first couple in the White House. I mean, there's just tons and tons of questions this year. I'm nervous. I'm like, are people going to love Quinn or be really, like, freaked out by her? I don't know. And screwing things up. So there's this organic conflict. I still don't know. If this presidency and fits in it can truly thrive and I really don't know if I have any relationship left with my two best friends Liv and Fitz. Livy, I'm running I'm winning we're getting married and you are moving into the White House with me. Fitz okay there's a million reasons why that's a non-starter. Here we go. Are you seriously going to stand here and suggest that divorcing your wife and moving me into the White House in the midst of an election is not a tiny bit of a problem? It's a problem. Clearly. So fix it. Funny. You're a funny man. You should quit your job. Go on the road. Yeah, I mean, I believe that Fitz's presidency is going to survive. I hope, but I'm Fitz, so what can I say? You know, I also believe that Fitz and Olivia are going to make it. So that shows how stupid I am. Um, I, you know, I have faith. Um, I, I think that you know the way that this ends is seems so sort of for Fitz, so sort of tragic and painful. And yet, I know, knowing Shonda, that can't be the whole story. This is the real deal. Oh, the terrible things. We all do terrible things.